Hello, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic to have you here because today is part four of making our Damascus steel cutlass. And as you'll remember in the last part, I mean all the way through, it's been trials and tribulations. But yesterday as we went into the heat treat, the blade warped dramatically. I started making up another billet of Damascus steel, so maybe we'd be able to then start making another sword. Will managed to straighten the blade, and here we are. Today is day four. We're gonna be heat treating the original blade. Hopefully it's not gonna warp, but for sure it's gonna be a great day, so it's fantastic having you here. So we've spent four hours on this so far. We spent four hours. Last night we were here until one o'clock in the morning. Will was straightening this blade, trying to get it right. Lots of time has gone into this. It went great the first time, but it didn't get hard. Then we normalized it and it warped like hell. Will spent hours straightening it. We hardened it again today. Will, has it worked? We have a hard blade. It worked. It has worked. Yeah, and how straight worked. is it? It's relatively straight. can't tell you how good it feels to have a hard and straight sword. I think we should, I think we should do a second take. So Will and I have now tempered the blade. We used a torch, we took our time, we made sure that we got the spine softer than the blade so that there's still a good bit of flexibility in the overall structure of the blade, but we still have a hard edge that's gonna be able to be able to stand up to the task that this cutlass needs to stand up to. Now, Will is gonna continue polishing the blade. He's gonna be putting a convex grind on that. So that's a grind that kind of slopes off towards the edge. This makes for a stronger edge. Meanwhile, I'm gonna put a piece of wrought iron in the fire. This is an old piece of wrought iron, and I'm gonna start forging the guard and the pommel. Okay, I need to have a think about what I'm gonna do with this. That is really bad. Look at that. We're gonna take some flux. And we're gonna see if we can flux it and then weld it shut. I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, I don't know, but I think we've got it closed up. This, uh, gotta keep forging. We'll see if it opens up. If it does, then we'll have to think of something different. I've got this forged out. I've roughed out from the inch round bar that I forged from that big piece of wrought iron. This is going really well. I was able to fix the weld. It's all solid. It's come together. This is, though wrought iron comes apart, it's pretty easy to put back together also. This has been roughed out. Now, it's very thick right now. Not quite the length that we need for the guard. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now, keep hammering on it, draw it out in length, bring it down in thickness, give it some great texture, 
and then we can let it cool down, make the slot in it for the guard. So this doesn't look like much of a guard, but it is a guard, and it's gonna look great. I'm leaving it flat right now, because I have a lot of work to do to make sure that I get a very neat slot in there and make sure that it's all fit up nicely with the sword. But now, I have that same piece of wrought iron in the fire. We're gonna cut it off, and from that, we're gonna start forging the pommel. Hopefully the wrought iron doesn't come apart, and hopefully this pommel turns out pretty awesome. tell you how much fun I'm having. It's so good swinging a hand hammer, making things here at the anvil. So much fun. Will, he's been grinding this for the past little while while I made the garden the pole. How's it looking? <laughs> <laughs> a little hot? It's hot. It's doing well. Oh my goodness. Coming along nicely. Oh, that's hot. That is indeed. <laughs> I that just is... burned myself on that. I know. <laughs> that is insane. You've been doing a convex grind on it? Yep, so I switched the, uh, switched the platen around on this thing uh, so that I've got slack behind it. So it's instead of just coming down to a straight edge, you got a convex grind on it, a little bit more support. Uh, and this is a nice tight, uh, nice tight slack belt there. So it's, uh, it's been nice. Yeah. Sweet. Right. That is a lot better grinding than I can do. Ow, I burnt myself again. So while Will is over there finishing off the edge, getting the edge down so he can then start moving to 240 grit, I'm here in the mill. Because I need a slot in this to accept the tang. He's got the tang down to the right size. I need a slot that's 6.8 millimeters wide and 23.8 millimeters long. I've got a six millimeter end mill in there. As I mill down, get my length, I'll then shuffle over 0.4 millimeters either side. It's then gonna be a pretty nice tight file fit to get this to go onto the tank nice and neatly. Machinists, close your eyes. I do not want to do this. You do not want me to do this. Nobody wants to do this. And I definitely don't want to do this. I need to get a hole in that pommel. And the hole needs to be pretty centered. And I need to somehow grip said pommel. And I do not know how to do it in the mill. I don't know how to find the center on this because it's all wacky and funky. I told you to close your eyes. I, I told you, that's it. You, you can't go back now. The, <laughs> you've seen it. So what I'm doing is I'm gripping this terribly poorly shaped thing in my vise. I've got parallels behind it. I've uh, been tapping that down onto the parallels as I tighten it. Here goes nothing. This, uh, this could be the end. I think that the options are as follows here. In the next five minutes, one, I either snap a drill bit and it ends up embedding itself 
in one part of my body or another. Two, I end up pulling this thing out of the vise and it hits me in the head and I end up with a big old bruise. Or it just kills me. Um, three, it goes perfectly well. I've listed that in order of probability. Awesome. I'm, somehow I did not die. Somehow this did not end up in my head. Somehow the drill bit is still in the chuck and it still looks good. Um, but we have another issue is this somehow, somehow, needs to go in the mill and I need to make a slot that is going to match where the tang is going to end up on it so that this will index and stay straight. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to do this, so uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've got it. I think it's as tight as I can get it. I think it's... We have a pommel! We have a forged wrought iron pommel. It looks beautiful, it's got the forged texture in it. I'm very thrilled. Now, it doesn't, it's, it's difficult to get this looking central. I got it as centered as I can from the chucking that I have. It's a little off here. I don't think that's gonna be an issue because we're gonna be doing a, hey Will, what's it called? We're going to be doing an heirloom fit, which means that we're going to be rounding over the handle material onto here. We'll be able to index it here. So that lack of centeredness isn't going to be an issue on the final piece. I tell you what, though, this is going to look pretty awesome, Will. Very, 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 very cool. Very, 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 very cool. <laughs> Fitting guard, we have a pommel, we have a blade that's actually straight. Has what finish are we at on this? 240. 240 grit finish, beautiful convex grind. I am astounded. We're making awesome progress. Will has been killing it on the belt grinder, doing an awesome job there. I am so thrilled because do you reckon tomorrow we'll finish this? I think we can get it done, yeah. One more episode, and this puppy is going to be done. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've had a blast. I hope you had a fantastic day. And I hope that you go and make something. Be sure to go get some merchandise. It's been a blast. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.